Excella. It seems we are unable to reach an accord. Misfortunate indeed. We will, regardless, be withdrawing all troops as proposed. I trust this will serve as a sufficient first step toward reparations. What? When my good faith has been made clear, I will return to ask the Dragon's cooperation again. Are these acceptable terms, Yuma Ilvern? <clears throat> what do you think, Sonya? <sighs> Regardless of her intent, if we can end hostilities for sure, it's worth considering. Welland could stand to consider it as well. Yuma? If we can end the fighting, that's reason enough. And if Excella's really sincere, I would like to help her and her father. I'm okay with the terms as they stand, but, uh, maybe we should run it by the king first. Agreed. We should report to father before we make a final decision. Your hesitation is understandable. Allow me to illustrate the extent of my devotion to this course. Those are... In the interest of good faith, I present to you both Dragon Souls in my possession. Earth and Sky... Yes. Please convey them to your King Albert. I would have him know my sincerity as well. All right. Astoria accepts them. From one heir to another, Excella. I'll make sure he knows. Maybe we can still salvage something positive. I've heard enough! What? <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> you certainly know how to make trouble for me, don't you? I'll be taking those dragon souls back into Beowulf's custody. You nearly ruined a plan decades in the making. Bjork! You will stand down and know your place! I gave you no leave to interrupt our negotiations. Negotiations? Gave me leave? Watch your tone, you damn traitor! Traitor? What are you talking about? Don't feign ignorance. Confess! In your greed for the throne, you ordered an assassination. You had your father killed! What? Assassination? My father... killed? Ridiculous! What are you even saying? Father killed? That cannot be! Come, come, Excella. I would say even someone of your station must answer for her crimes. But killing our dear Emperor... You've lost the right to claim yourself princess of anything now! You're a traitor and a heretic! Nothing more! Bjork, what have you done? Murderer! I, I will not stand for... <laughs> you won't stand for what, exactly? You have no throne. Your own vassals are pursuing warrants for your arrest as we speak. You're nothing but a fugitive from judgment now! <laughs> you... Now then... I appear to have a wanted traitor before me. Shall I do my duty as a knight and cut you down? Wait, what's that sword? Now, hear my call and heed my summons! <laughs> Caliburn? What is Caliburn doing here? Caliburn! Your master Gyor commands you to kill that girl! Caliburn, stop! Your master Excella commands you to stop! Master 
Lord's will, your life is forfeit. Why? Why won't you listen? It's me, you know my voice. Poor old Caliburn can't hear you, my dear. Not the way you want it to. He heeds now only the call of Galahorn, the Dragon Imperator. Galahorn? The Dragon Imperator? Yes! I created it from the Dark Dragon's soul. It is an imitation of the Shining Dragon's own Vandal Horn. A crowning achievement, if I do say so myself. Yes, another masterpiece for Beowulf's arsenal. <laughs> Caliburn, your quarries are the Dragon Ears and the Historian Princess. Now, Caliburn, kill! Kill them all! Leave none alive except for the Shining Dragon's vessel! Thy will be done. Focus on the music! This melody is our greatest weapon. Red need more power. So even one of the Twin Blades wasn't enough to deter you? Caliburn laid low. But you seem to be struggling to keep up. <sighs> Not your concern! <laughs> Defiance, then. But will that be enough against me and my Galahorn? That's why you gathered the World Dragon souls? So you could make that sword? Galahorn is but a stepping stone on a greater path. The goal of our order has only ever been one thing. The resurrection of Almighty Deus. What? The combined energies of all five World Dragons brought to heal by the Dragon Imperator's absolute command over Dragonkind. 
Together, they form the key to a door the Sanguine Church has sought to open for centuries. The seal upon Almighty Deus's grave. The seal was made by the very dragons Galahorn can command. With this, we can unmake it. Deus will live! But why? If you break the seal, the catastrophe, all those things the Shining Dragon told us about will happen again. If you can't see past collateral damage, you too are lost. Be silent now. It's time to put Galahorn to its first true test. Hey, Leston, you still with me? I'm beginning to feel the drag. I don't believe I can fight much longer. It's getting hard to move. Same here. This isn't good. <laughs> now, who's first? Who will feel the bite of Galahorn? I will. What? You, the Dragon Slayer! Damn it all! You interfere now, of all times! This is not the appointed hour. What? You there, Will. M me? Leave the Night Sanguine to me. Take the others and run. But... Why are you... Go! Your Highness, we're getting out of here, now! Right behind you! Let's go. But we should take another route. If they pursue Excella too, they'll have to divide themselves. Right. Piteous fool. Come then! No Galahorn's might first hand! You parried the Imperator? My turn now. Dragon Slayer, where are you drawing this power from? I could ask you the same. You've grown quite fearsome. All but a different man now. If that blade really is endowed with the Dark Dragon's blessing, it can only be resonance. Your soul and his, huh? Damn you! What do you stand to gain from this? Why are you getting in my way? We don't have to be enemies, you know. In fact, I believe I have something you want. And you have something I want, too. Something I want, eh? You heard me. Shall we strike a deal, you and I? It would benefit both of us far more than this pointless bloodshed. <laughs>